Uh, let me say that I'm extremely happy to see so many people here, and this shows that all the market is going towards the right direction. Uh, interest in sharing economy is growing, especially in crowdfunding and P2P lending. I'm really happy and I'm really thankful for Vitotas and Savi team uh, that they invited Sorainen for the second year in the row to be co-organizers of this amazing conference. Um, last year, uh, at Sorainen, we have started working with the alternative finance three years ago. Uh, back then, nobody really knew what is crowdfunding, how to use it, or how to benefit from it. Um, we have done a lot of research in uh, regulation in Lithuania, in the Baltics, for various European institutions and even the uh, European Commission. We had uh, been working a lot with the draft law on crowdfunding of the Republic of Lithuania. And this is a, a huge accomplishment for us as a firm. And since we have recently been recognized as the European law firm of the, uh, European law firm of the year, we do not take this for granted and we are going to keep up shaping the regulation and helping our clients in alternative finance market to success. Um, last year, uh, I finished my presentation with a slide and I said that back then we did not have anything, any crowdfunding platforms, any special regulation, we haven't anything. But we had a unique opportunity to create the best jurisdiction for crowdfunding in Europe. And after a long legislative journey, finally uh, we can see a light in the tunnel. Um, recently, the draft law on crowdfunding was, was uploaded into the database of Parliament of draft laws, and it is expected that by May 2016 it's going to come into effect. So let's uh, look what the draft law is going to offer for us. And let's start by reading the definition of crowdfunding. It is activity when investors using the crowdfunding platform provide funds to project owners through loans or in other monetary forms or through acquisition of financial instruments issued by the project owners. So basically, this definition is going to guide us through all my presentation. As we see, crowdfunding will have uh, mainly three parties. Project owners, who are going to be either natural or legal persons, investors, natural and legal persons, and other persons providing funds to the project owner through the platform. For example, collective investment undertakings or various funds. Uh, and the last part is the operator of, of the crowdfunding platform. It's going to be either a private limited liability company or public limited liability company. These three parties will have basically two instruments how to attract uh, financing. Either loans through conclusion of loan agreements or financial instruments when investors will have opportunity to acquire either debt or equity securities issued by the project owners. Um, as we see, private limited liability companies, Lithuanian abbreviation UAB, will have opportunity to issue only debt securities, for example, bonds. And public limited liability companies will have opportunity to issue either debt securities bonds or equity financial instruments uh, shares. Uh, the best way to understand the particularities of the law is to see it from three different angles, from the project owner side, from the investor, and from the platform's operator. If we take project owner, uh, the main regulatory things are free. If you are going to raise up to 100,000 euros, there are no formal requirements. If the target amount is between 100,000 euros and 500,000 euros, the project owner uh, has to prepare an information document for medium size, small size issues, meaning a document with, which describes the risk for investors to invest in a particular project. It, in practice, it's, a, it's not a long document, for example, four, 14, 18 pages. 
But if, if the project owner wants to attract more than half of million euros, the securities regulation pops in and we have a normal uh, issue of financial instruments. And the full prospectus regulation applies, meaning that you have to prepare a prospectus um, which must be approved by the Bank of Lithuania. And only after this approval, it's, it will be possible to, st to start publicly offering securities. Other limitation for the project owner is that if he wants to attract more than 100,000 euros, he must put at least 10% of funds into the project from his side. And also, um, it is limited uh, the, the sphere where you can raise money. It's, it should be either for business, professional, education, or re research purposes. When we look from the investor side, we see that um, here we will have few limitations. Every one of us can easily invest up to 1,000 euros. But bigger amounts could be invested only by uh, informed investors, meaning professional investors, or high net worth individuals. Also, investors that have successfully done the suitability test, they will be allowed to invest without limits. So uh, every of us who successfully passes the test, which usually will be created by the platform operator, can start investing without limits. Um, suitability test will be uh, prepared, as I mentioned, by the platform operator to determine whether a specific investment through loan, uh, bonds, or shares is suitable for a particular investor. Looking from the operator of the platform side, uh, the main obligation is, will be to be included in the list of operators of crowdfunding platforms. The legal person which is included in the, the said list is automatically going to be considered as a financial advisory firm in Lithuanian Finansu Patria Imun, which has the right to provide such investment services as execution of orders and uh, provision of investment recommendation. So basically, after inclusion into the said list, uh, the company can easily operate equity-based crowdfunding platform. If the operator wants to provide more investment services, it, in addition, it will need to be licensed as an investment firm. Talking about the new regulation, it, it opens cross-border crowdfunding because it directly says that foreign companies from other EU countries that are licensed and having the right in that member state to provide financial services related to intermediation of uh, financial transactions has the right to operate as a crowdfunding platform in Lithuania after inclusion to the list. So basically, the foreign company, which usually will be an investment firm, must accomplish notification procedure, and after that notification procedure, inclusion into the list, and it can start providing services. Uh, talking about crowdfunding platform operators, there is a risk control, which is good for investors, and the platform has the right to choose the method, the best method how to control the risk. So either it has to have uh, its own capital which is um, 40,000 euros, or it has to comply with capital requirement, not less than 0.2% of all the outstanding amount financed through the platform, or it has to have insurance, surety, guarantee amounting to 100,000 euros for one financial claim, and 500,000 euros for all financial claims within the same year. Moreover, we have other regulatory issues. Um, crowdfunding platform has to comply with anti-money laundering regulation, which is a, a really tough challenge for online business because each operator has to identify all project owners and investors, which could be all around the world. 
So uh, it's going to be a big challenge for online business. Secondly, if the platform operator wants to control its client's funds, it will need to be licensed in addition as a payment institution or at least e-money institution. However, there are structures how to work around this and to start cooperating with banks. The positive uh, change in regulation is that uh, together with the law on crowdfunding, the law on companies is going to be changed in a way that allows private limited liability companies to publicly offer its bonds. And finally, uh, this is the, the table showing how many uh, platforms, crowdfunding platforms has each European country. Uh, and we see that uh, Lithuania is not in this list. So I hope that together with the new law, all the market is going to work to change the statistics. And next year, we are going to be among uh, other countries having successful crowdfunding platforms. And uh, I hope that crowdfunding is going to be reality very soon in Lithuania. Thank you, thank you very much.